We don't lose. We never lose. <laughs> well, I wanted something that would help women in society, and I also wanted something that brings women up. That's why I teach at the university. That's why I try to go to different schools and talk and show them that diversity matters and we should continue this process. I'm also really proud that in the span of four years, we've been able to build a multi-million dollar business, which means we've helped many, 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 many families. And I'm actually starting a nonprofit organization, so you're gonna be one of the first people to know. My name is Esther, and I'm a probate paralegal at the Florida Probate and Family Law Firm. I'm Anwar Hadid. I'm a probate guardianship and estate planning attorney here at the Florida Probate and Family Law Firm. I'm Juanita, and I'm the operations coordinator. I'm Jose Leon, and I'm a probate and guardianship attorney. Yes, that's correct. I spoke to opposing counsel and it looks like we're going to have an agreement in this case. Mm-hmm. Correct. Hold on one moment. This is an important phone call, but my name is Crezia Toledo and I'm one of the family law attorneys at the firm. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته من ميامي من لكم يا هلا جايين اليوم على مكتب محاما لوحدة من بنات الجالية العربية من فلسطين جايين اليوم عند المحامية سماح أبو خضير مختصة بقضايا العائلة من زواج وطلاق وميراث وشغلات مثل هي بتخص كل الجالية العربية الموجودة هون بأميركا أنه يفهموا القانون شي بيرفع الرأس الريتنج تبعها كتير عالي تعالوا نشوف الترتيب لتس جو السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام يعطيك العافية كيفك؟ الحمد لله بخير، بسم الله ما شاء الله عنك شكرا عنا كان أسئلة كثير قانونية عملنا هيك الريسيرشات لقينا إنه حضرتك محامية عربية موجودة هون بمدينة ميامي سمعتك طيبة وحلوة وإنه أنت بهالسن هذا ما شاء الله يو ار رننج أن أوفيس فبصراحة ضربنا مشوار لعندك على ميامي لهون عنا كثير هالأسئلة خرجت تجاوبينا عليهم؟ اوف كورس اوف كورس ويلكم تو ذا فلوريدا بروفيد اند فاملي لا فيرم تفضلوا تفضلوا يا جماعة ليتس جو مرحبا انا اسمي سماحة ابو ختير وانا محامية في ميامي فلوريدا اصلي فلسطينية بس مولودة في امريكا Why did you choose to be a lawyer? I originally wanted to be a doctor uh, like my dad and then I saw how many people were going through the foster care system in, in Philippines. I saw how many domestic violence cases were going on with women and we're three girls in my family. I'm the oldest of three and my mom and my dad taught us to be very strong women. So I wanted something that would help women in society and I also wanted something that brings women up. So you don't see many women lawyers and you definitely don't see many Palestinians um, that are attorneys. So I thought that this would be a good path for the future. When did you start here in the business? I started four years in, in Miami. What are you talking about? The wealth and the law. So family and probate law, which means family law is divorce, child custody, uh, domestic violence, um, adoption, prenuptial agreements, postnuptial agreements, anything to do with family. And then probate is estate planning, so your last will and testament, uh, which most people don't understand. A living trust, healthcare surrogate, what happens to your children if anything happens to you, and anything related to incapacity, dementia, Alzheimer's, those types of things. This is my law school graduation picture um, when I graduated from Florida International University, and I've actually been a professor there for the last five years. Professor? Yes. MashaAllah, yes. so you're teaching? I'm teaching. We first started teaching my husband and I in the law school, and now I'm teaching in the undergrad in the Honors College. Why did you choose Miami? That's a loaded question. I finished law school in Miami. There are a lot of Arab here in Miami, and there's not a lot of Arab attorneys, which was important. So I just thought it would be important to bring more awareness to the Arab American community. We needed a base in Miami. We needed a base in South Florida. So I thought that it was smart to start my business here. It was important that we represent our communities and we also help our communities. If you go to court, there's not many people that are Arab American that are walking into court. That to me is a legacy that we build for future generations. That's why I teach at the university. That's why I try to go to different schools and talk and show them that diversity matters and we should continue this process. 
هل انت بس بتاخذي قضايا هون بميامي ولا بفلوريدا ولا انت ممكن تاخذي قضايا بمكان ثاني؟ So it's state dependent. So we take cases all over the state of Florida. We probably have a case in every county in Florida right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have hundreds of cases and we've helped thousands of families all over the state. So we focus primarily on the state of Florida. A lot of Arab people move to the United States. We don't know how the system works here in the United States. How can we protect our children if, God forbid, like the, the parents passed away? So it's state specific. So it depends on which state you live in in the United States. For Florida, if the parents pass, the grandparents from each side can decide what happens. If they're if they don't decide together, then they're going to go to court and fight. And that's where we come in. We we represent these people. That's if the parents did not have a last will and testament, meaning the mom and the dad. There has to be two. not just one last will and testament. They have to say it, and then there's also another document that you can do called the pre-need guardian form, Mm -hmm. where it basically means exactly what it says, pre-need. So before you need it, and who's going to be the guardian. So pre-need guardian. And you get to decide who takes care of your children. It's extremely important because you don't want your kids to end up in the foster care system waiting while the grandparents fight. You don't want a judge to decide because the judge is a stranger and you want control over the situation. It's important to make sure that everything's in order and you know where the paperwork is. شو هي اكثر القضايا اللي موجوده ما بين العائلات خلينا نقول طالما حضرتك محاميه عائله. Unfortunately, you know the answer. It's domestic violence and divorce. So we get a lot of calls regarding people who are going through family issues. Unfortunately, there's abuse. Then we have to file a domestic violence case in court. And then that usually leads to a divorce case if they're married. If they're not married, usually, and they have kids, then it leads to a paternity case. So these are separate cases and different classifications in court. And we help them through the process. Some of the time, we're able to tell the families to go to therapy. And then they don't have to go through divorce. They don't have to go through the paternity process. They're able to resolve it amongst themselves. But the majority of the time, again, unfortunately, it leads into divorce and paternity cases. شو شعورك لما أنت تخسري قضية وتكوني أنت بتعرفي إنه هالقضية هي على حق؟ We don't lose. We never lose. <laughs> But it's a good question. No, I'm just kidding. We rarely lose, and that's something I'm extremely proud of, alhamdulillah. But that also means that we don't take cases that we know are not strong cases. So I don't think it's fair to take people's money and tell them that we're going to fight and we're going to get them what they need if we know that the law is not on their side. So in the few instances that we've lost, it doesn't feel good. But we also tell the client from the very beginning, this is an uphill battle, which means that it's going to be a very difficult case. Like the case that was the hardest case we've done, right? And we won. We told her from the beginning, you have to understand that there's a big chance we're going to lose, but we're doing this because we believe in your case. طيب هون شايف mix up between Palestine. This is the picture of your family. Yes. What this, is this? This is the day that I became an attorney. So after I graduated from law school, You have to get sworn in in the state of Florida, in every state. Um, but we went to the civil courthouse and I was sworn in by two different judges. They just don't know that. What are the things that we as Arabs, when we come here to America, we need to think about it or we need to do it from the It's a very good question. And it's a state planning, which people don't understand what that means. But think about having all of your papers in order. So your last will and testament, your living trust, your health care surrogate, your durable power of attorney, your pre-need guardian if you have children. And to go even further, because this is all confusing, you never know how long you're going to live. We don't know. We can't predict the future, right? Everyone always waits until the last minute to get everything in order or they die without having it in order. But it's extremely important, especially if you have kids or you have assets, a bank account, house, land, whatever you have, even overseas. It's important to have everything written down and stated how you want it divided after you pass away. This saves money because then your family doesn't have to go to court and hire somebody like me. And it also saves time. It it saves people from fighting. 
You don't want your family fighting over what you have. So it's extremely important to get everything in order and speak to an attorney about it. So over 50% of the United States do not have this. That also keeps us in business because that means that they have to go through the probate process. So they have to go to court and they have to go to court called probate court. And that means that the judge decides what happens to your assets. So if you own a house, it depends on the intestacy statute in Florida. If you have a spouse and if you have children, it gets split. It depends on what the law says in your state, but you don't have control over it. That's the difference. If you get everything done before you pass and you see an attorney and you do your last will and testament, then the judge and the court doesn't decide. If you don't do anything, no one goes to court, nothing after a period of time, it escheats to the state, which means that the state might take it over later on in the future. Can the state take out anything it, it's a possibility. It's a very small possibility, okay. um, but it could still happen, absolutely. Okay. And that's why you have to get everything in order. Does that make you feel happy? Like when you bring justice again, or like if you see somebody, how, how does that feel? It's a feeling you can't explain, but going into court, going to trial, like you see on TV, right? Everyone says, no, it's not like TV. Sometimes it is. Being able to speak in front of the judge, tell them your case, fight for your client, and have the judge believe what you're saying, and also have the law on your side, you go to bed so happy. You go to bed being thankful every day for what you do. And more importantly, your clients are extremely thankful. And when clients are extremely thankful and they tell you how thankful they are, that's when you know you're doing the right thing. أنت سماح أبو خضير بتكون مبسوطة شو الموقف اللي أنت ممكن بشغلك أو بعملك أو ال achievement اللي ممكن تعمليه خليك to feel happy. When I'm running my business, I never planned to own a business. I never planned to start a business, but it's what makes me happiest. It, helping people, helping people we don't know, right? Because most of our clients are strangers, but. Being able to build an environment and, an, and a culture in a law firm was extremely important because I worked at firms where it wasn't the culture and the environment that I wanted. So I wanted to build something that was important. And I'm also really proud that in the span of four years, we've been able to build a multi-million dollar business out of this law firm, which means we've helped many, 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 many families. And if we can continue doing that, then that's my legacy. If I want to ask you about your dream. My dream is to start a nonprofit for Palestine that helps children in the foster care system. So orphanages, um, children in Syria that are in refugee camps, just anywhere around the world where they've lost their families, we can provide services to them. We can provide therapy. Um, we can provide education. We can provide scholarships. So I'm going to give you a lot of thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. After the visit to the Prime Minister of Muhammad, we learned a lot about the law and the law. But it's not the only thing we learned and learned from it. We learned that your goals are always big. And your confidence in yourself and your confidence in yourself will be bigger. وأنه يكون إيمانك وثقتك بالله عز وجل أكبر منهم كلهم